What's up everybody? Uh, just making this video real quick to show you how to use ice films on your Apple TV 2. Seen a lot of videos on how to install it, what it is, how to fix it if it doesn't work, stuff like that, but really nothing that just shows you like how to use it or like a demonstration I guess. So uh, right here this is your home screen. This is what your Apple TV looks like when you first turn it on or wake it up I guess because it just goes to sleep mode. Movies, TV shows, music, stuff like that. That's all with like iTunes. You know, you got movies, but you got to pay for those. So what you do, you go down to this one right here that says Kodi, K-O-D-I, second one on the left. Click OK. It's going to start up. And it's going to bring you to this screen. I actually have mine set up to go right to the video add-ons, but normally, if that's not on, it'll go right to this screen like this. Go over to videos, go down, go to add-ons, and then I only have Ice Films and YouTube. I don't even know why YouTube's on there, I don't use that, but Ice Films is the only one I ever use, which is the movies, TV shows, you know, stand-up comedy, music videos, concerts, all that good stuff. So click that. Now, I do apologize, it's probably going to take a lot longer to load some of this stuff because my internet connection is very slow this week for some reason. So, uh, for instance, I'll show you a TV show and a movie. So, you see right here, you got TV shows, movies, music, stand-up comedy, other, uh, what's being watched now. You can search, and that'll bring up, you know, if you type in Spongebob, it'll bring up Spongebob TV episodes and, you know, Spongebob movies, for instance. So, we'll try uh, TV shows. And usually the first time when you click on something, like if this is your first time clicking TV shows, it takes a little bit longer than normal to load because it's just it loads everything but once you do it once I think it just kinda like remembers it or something so it's just it like scans for new stuff so it's a lot quicker I will go to highly rated I guess you can see when you click on something down there in the bottom right corner it says working and it shows you a little loading bar this is the first time I've clicked on it so it's taken normally it would have been loaded by now but So you got rated 9.8 out of 10. It just, I mean, it could be anything. It could be a really old show, a new show. I personally don't watch any of these shows, so I don't know nothing about them. We'll try uh, Popular. I've clicked on this one before, so you see it loads pretty quick. So you got Big Bang Theory, How I Met Your Mother, Game of Thrones, Family Guy, all this stuff. And there's a lot more if you keep scrolling. It'll just about anything I've ever wanted to watch is on here. I'll click Breaking Bad, see if show you how that works. And it shows you the in parentheses 2008 where Breaking Bad is and all the shows. That's just when the you know the first season started. So you click it, you got season one, two, three, four, and five. That's all the seasons there are. So that's every one of them. So we'll click, uh, uh, we'll go to season two. Oops. We'll go to, you can see right here, you got all the episodes. The 2X01, that's season two, episode one, season two, episode three, two episode, or er, two episode two, two episode three, two episode four, so on and so forth. But you got all of them in this season. Put that in season eight. Better call Saul. And then when you get to this screen, you see source one through nine. These are, these are just different websites and links that host this file, which is the TV show. Uh, 180, 180 upload is my favorite. There's no like kept Kapipchas or whatever the hell you call those things. Uh, some of them, like this one right here, billing uploads. When you click it, these ones might actually be like better to watch because nobody will use them. Oops. Sometimes it doesn't work the first time, so you just click it again. No, that one don't work. That's why there's a lot because some of them don't work. Some of them get moved or deleted. But uh, 
180 upload is my favorite. And you can see it says Source 9, then 180, then DVD. DVD means it's DVD quality, and full means it's the whole thing. Very, I actually haven't seen it in a couple years, but there was once in a blue moon where you'd click a really long movie, and it would be split up like part one and part two. It was never like a lot of splits, but you know, it would tell you like, hey, this is part one, this is part two, another part one, another part two. But uh, you just click one of them. I'll click DVD since it'll stream a lot faster. Just click it. It'll pop up and load like that. And this, depending on how fast the servers are going and how fast your internet is, basically determines how fast it's going to play and if it has to buffer or anything. Like usually DVD quality it doesn't buffer for me, so I watch a lot of them like that. But when my internet's got you know real good connection, I can do the HD copy copies. If it ever does start buffering, I'm gonna hit pause right here, so it's not actually buffering, but it'll just pause, and you can see up in the top of the screen right there. Where it says paused, it'll say buffering. So usually just let it set for, you know, 20, 30 seconds at the most, and that should be good for the rest of the movie. But I'm gonna click mini and go back. I'll show you guys a movie now. All you do to go back is hit menu, which is the left button right there. So we'll do uh, movies now. HD 720. It's all the same categories basically. You got your HD categories, you got popular, highly rated, new releases, recently added. So I think there's like over hundreds of thousands of movies and TV shows and stuff. So you're never going to run out of stuff to watch. I'll do popular. You got Hangover, Inception, the other guys, the Avatar, Frozen. And you just keep going down, there's tons of movies. The older movies stay kind of high on the popular list because they've been on there for so long and they've been watched so many times. That's why I don't usually go to this one too much. Let's, do, uh, let's try the latest releases. Again, I haven't clicked on this before, so it takes longer than normal to load. So you got, it'll tell you when, like what date, category you're in. So there's, this is January of 2015. I personally haven't heard of any of those, so let's try highly rated. This one I must have clicked on before because it loaded really quick. Oh, yep, there's the interview right there with uh, James Franco and Seth Rogen. So you just click it. And then this one only has two sources. You got 180 upload and billion uploads. Billion uploads is the one that's going to pop up and it's going to ask you to type in the characters that you see. So 180 upload doesn't do that. So we'll click that. This is HD, so it might take a minute on my TV to buffer. You see down at the right corner it says working. Yep, they're right up there at the top. You see buffering. If you hit play, it'll kind of like override the buffering. So I'll hit play, I'll show you. 
to show you that it will start playing. You can also click the forward button and that fast forwards it. It skips like 40 seconds, I think. But it's going to buffer again, obviously, because it wasn't fully loaded. Fast forward again, again. I think if you hold it, you can actually like skip for a long time. New album, which has been mired in controversy concerning lyrics. But, uh, yeah, I want to make a quick video, even though it turned out to be like 10 or 11 minutes, but I just wanted to show how this actually works. Because there's not really very many videos on that. At least recent ones. There's a lot of old ones, but that used to be before it was uh, Cody and it was XBMC. So yeah, I hope that helps somebody out. Uh, you can like, comment, rate, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And thanks for watching.